Hello guys and welcome to this new Blender tutorial. Today is a follow-up to our 2D Mesh Eyes tutorial in which we saw how to model and how to shade and how to rig 2D eyes in Blender with procedural irises and pupils etc. And I got some comments. One of them wanted to know how to make cat eyes like these and another one how to make a square eye i guess maybe for a minecraft character so today i decided to do a video about some eye shapes and some node setups and from these you can experiment and mix together and make maybe your own style for your character's needs this file is available on my Gumroad for $5 if you want to support my free work on this channel. The rig also of the 2D eyes is also available there. So you can grab it too for $5 I think. You can check the other tutorial also for more shading tips and also how to model the eyes and how to rig them of course and how you shrink wrap them around a 3D object. So let's start with the first eye. I made for another character, a 2D mesh character that is also available for sale. So you see that it's not perfectly round and if you move it, you see that it changes. It is like liquid and cartoony, I guess. If you increase the size, you see that you get this. The guy is haunted and is possessed by a demon and it's taken hold of its soul so let's take a look at the node tree so first we have this node here that creates the circle and if you want to know the real name of this node you need to do n and you see if you select it that its name is vector math and here you can see the name of the node but the name of the option you choose here so this one creates the circle as we saw in the other tutorial and it is mixed here with a mix node with a noise texture and I change the settings here a little bit and then we connect everything with a color ramp with black and white we changed the interpolation to constant so that we don't have a gradient between white and black and we get these clean edges and this is it i connected it to the principled bsdf and in the start we have this texture coordinate that is connected to our circle the object here is connected to vector and then we have chosen an object here that is an empty that will control the eye if you have a rig you you will parent this empty to a bone and you can move the eye like this if you don't want this effect here where the shape of the eye is changing you can connect also the object here to the vector of the noise texture and now it moves with the empty and the shape doesn't change you can from here even rotate the eye and you can resize it let's remove this connection if you want to have that demon effect also you can change the factor here so the factor here decides the mix between length and noise texture and we have these settings here color and mix if you increase the factor the noise texture will take hold and you also have this effect like the guy is possessed by something so to the cat eye now this one is actually very simple so we have this vector math also on length here for the circle and we have the color ramp with two colors green and black so between these two we have a mapping node and in scale we control the x scale so that the circle can turn into this oval here and i added of course a driver to the x so that i can control it with this empty the driver is very simple if you do right click edit driver you see that we just have var in expression we have our empty here we have x location so that it works when the empty moves in the x location in its local space and before we do this because it contains a square like this one we do this one to understand a little bit our square so we have these four nodes that creates actually a diamond that's why i arranged them in a diamond shape this node that is called separate x y and z and we have this mapping node that we'll see in a moment what it does from the x and the z we get two math nodes one is set to absolute and the other one is also set to absolute and then they connect to another math node that is set to add and then we connect it to a color ramp and this creates a diamond but how did we create a square by using this mapping node so if you connect directly the texture coordinate to the separate xyz node 
you see that it is a diamond. And by putting a mapping node in between and changing the rotation in the x axis to 45 degrees, we get a square. We can control the size of the square by just sliding this white slider here. And we also, of course, can control it with the empty. If you resize the empty, you resize the square too. Back to our, I don't know, this is a frog eye or a camel eye. We can resize this shape here. And we have a mix here between our circle node with our diamond or square node setup. We mix them with the mix node and also we can adjust the mix here and you see we get more a rectangle and then we get this shape here. So of course you can make a rectangle with this setup. Let's go back, go back to the scale, change the X or the Z. You can create a rectangle either vertical or horizontal. And the mix node of course is also connected to this color ramp and we can adjust here too. We added the driver to the Z value of the scale of our square so that when we move this empty, the height of the square gets or the rectangle gets bigger. The texture coordinate is connected both to our square here and to our circle. Now let's see some fancier stuff here. What's really new in this IN in this one is that the background is also changing when we change the diameter of the pupil. So if you move this guy, you see that the background also is changing. We have our circle here and then we have a Vernoy texture. And this is what creates this pattern here. I added a driver to the mapping node connected to the Vernoy so that the X changes when the driver moves. And if we check how the driver is made by right clicking and then do edit driver, you see that we have empty. And then here we have minus var minus 0.5. So you need to experiment to find something that works for you, to find something that makes the texture shrink when the eye shrinks and then go larger when the pupil goes bigger. So experiment, type in different values, play with the minus and with the plus. The same here. We have this wave texture instead of a Vernoy texture. We have this mapping node and this time we played with the Z because the texture will shrink and expand on the Z axis. So this driver to right click edit driver. We have this value here var multiplied by 0.5 minus 1.5. So the multiplication will make transitions or transformations go faster or slower. So here I guess it goes slower because it's like cut by half multiplied by half and then I did minus 1.5 so this I guess will create an offset it decides where the transformation starts and where it ends now you see that we have more nodes here and those for creating these reflections on the eye. The reflections don't move. And like here, here the reflection will move with the iris because we have an iris in the middle of the eye. But here I guess everything is an iris. So if you want to know how to create these reflections, you will have to check the other tutorial. Or if you want to support the channel, you can just buy this file about this empty. So it's in here. You see that I locked the X and Y if you go here, object constraint properties, you see that I have a limit location and I set a minimum X transformation and maximum X. So zero to one meter. I checked effect transform and I have chosen here local space so that the empty doesn't move more than necessary. Here, if I choose zero here and I go to zero, I get like a glitch where the pupil gets like this. I had to put like 0 0.01 and now it's fine. Here also you'll see that I removed the constant from my color ramp and changed it to linear and you can see that we have this gradient here that makes the eye look more i don't know realistic and note also that you can create a cat eye with this setup so if you go here and change this to zero you see that you can get this and if you shrink it you get a horizontal cat eye let's try to rotate it r y 90 degrees and you can have this too alt r to reset the rotation you can also instead of adding the driver to the z add it to the X. So this is it. Thank you for watching and see you in another video. Peace.